Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new video here today and another episode of my MotoGP 20 career mode once again. We are back for some more action here today. If you guys missed the last episode at Mazzano for the San Marino Grand Prix, then go check it out guys in the link in the top right hand corner of your screen. An episode in which we sign for a new team for next season and the building blocks have been put into place for season two. But without further ado, let's jump into today's episode and let's see what things we have in store. Okay, so here we are then once again for some more career mode action. And as you can see in the standings at the bottom, we of course won the last race in Mazzano. So we actually extended our lead in the championship over Mark Marquez and Cal Crutchlow. But we're now going to move into the calendar and we're going to advance to the next race we can, which is going to be Aragon. So as you can see, only a few more races to go now. I believe it's a 20 race season. Aragon is the next one. So we are going to get things underway this weekend. And let's see how this race goes as we once again return to Spain for the third time this season. Okay, so here we are then for the start of qualifying and qualifying is actually a wet session, our first wet session of the weekend and the pace in practice was okay. Uh, we were about a second and a half off, give or take. Um, I got the maximum out of the lap, especially on the qualifying sim program. I did a really good lap and um, it was the best we could do really. So we're kind of floating around P15 at the moment and we are going to have to go through Q1. So let's jump into it and let's see if we can try and get ourselves into Q2. A bit of a mistake there, I completely got that corner wrong. Running a bit too hot on the brakes, but we're still three tenths down, so it's not too bad. We can still improve this. We've been about three tenths down through all three sectors on this lap so far, so it's only really sector one where I need to improve, which I know I can improve. Let's see what sector four is like, though. There's a lot of frame drops in the wet. It seems to be a glitch with all the updates. They've made the wet conditions awful in terms of performance. At the final corner, up to the line, and we do go fastest, so there we go. 52.0, let's see if we can improve, I think we can. I feel like I've got a good pace in the wet as always, I think we're a bit quicker. I don't know what it is about this, but I've, I need to investigate, it doesn't feel right. The, the wet conditions feels faster than the dry, even though the lap time is slower. It doesn't quite add up, it feels a lot more like Moto GP19. It feels like they've updated the handling in the dry, but the wet still feels very quick. Okay, yeah, None and now Joan Mir have gone quickest, so the AI are showing their pace and flexing their muscles a little bit now. So let's see what kind of pace we have as we make our way through the final corner. We're currently behind Brad Binder on this lap. Through the final corner. Again, struggling to get the line right. I'm just struggling for FPS in these conditions. There we go. 0.8 off. So we're currently P7. We're going to go back into the pit, strap on some fresh tyres. Maybe not fresh, we'll see. Maybe we'll stick with these. But fuel is definitely going to be uh, put onto the bike. So let's put some fuel in and let's see if we can try and go again. Mistake there, ran that in a bit too hot on the brakes, I tried to push the limits, didn't quite work. We are running the same tyres as before because the tyre weight is pretty minimal. I've just put in a load of fuel and we're going to run to the flag. pushing again damn it we lost nine tenths in sector two alone we was actually matching rabat through sector one even with that mistake so it uh, seems like the ai just pretty quick around here wet and dry so uh, we might struggle to make our way out of q1 at this rate track is improving though rabat has now improved to a 49.1 so looks like we're going to get one more lap so the next one will be our last one See what this is. Let's cross the line. 50.1. Personal best, but still not enough. All right, last lap. All or nothing. We have to be perfect on this lap to really get it. I think we can go through, but it's got to be the best lap I've possibly ever done. 
which I do feel like is possible in these conditions. The bike feels good, but it's just going to have to be really, really perfect. Oh, crap. Oh, well. There we go. I was pushing hard. I was giving it everything, but it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Rabat did improve to a 48.6 as well, but that is going to be it for our qualifying session. There we go then, it's P6 for us in Q1 Aragon qualifying and Rabat was just super, super fast around here. Jack Miller gets the second spot, so uh, yeah, in the end we was quite a way off, 9 tenths off the pace, so uh, it is what it is. We did match times with the Enone, which is pretty good. It uh, looks like Alicia Spargo though is straight to Q2, so uh, yeah, we could have done a bit better. I think there was a, a better lap there, but not a lot more. I think maybe we could have beaten Morbidelli, but that would have been about it. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully we've got a better pace in the race. Right, here we go then. It's race time at Aragon. Mary Vinales, the surprise man on pole, actually. The Yamahas haven't really had that many first places, but uh, Vinales has stuck it in P1 after qualifying. There is a championship rival, Mark Marquez. He has a chance today to get some points back in the championship if he can win the race. And, uh, you know, we struggle to get points. And it's going to be interesting because we've got Ian only there on P15 and we're just behind him. So we're starting the race, I believe, from uh, 16th place. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I think for me, the target today... I'd love to get a top 10. If we get a top 10, that would be a fantastic result for me. Um, it seems like we don't have the pace around here. So, you know, we're going to have to try to do damage limitation and see what we can do. But let's see how we get on, guys. Either way, we're going to jump into things. We're going to select the tyres. And for this one, I'm going to go quite aggressive. So we are going to go... I want to go soft, soft, actually. I think I'm going to try a soft, soft this race. I'm going to really push and see if we can use that to fight our way for the field. Fuel-wise, we're going to run one lap extra so 13 over the 12 lap race and that is going to be the settings we're going to run for today's grand prix here at aragon right here we go then building up the revs the lights are on and away we go for the aragon gp what a start off the line using the soft rear tire to our advantage and we've had a fantastic launch around the outside of turn one we're going to have to be careful here the outside is not where you want to be but we are going to get the inside for two up to the top 10 already, up into 10th place. Great, great start from us. And actually, I've surprised myself, that soft tyre has given us such a great launch off the line. As we now make our way into this section, a little bit of contact there with Petrucci as we try to turn in on the outside line. We're up to P9 though, so good start from us. As we go down to power mode 1 now, we've used a bit of power mode 2 off the start. This corner catches me out, I'm not great through here as uh, one of the... Avintias, I think that's Zarco, or no, that's actually Rabat diving down the inside into the chicane. We almost hit the back of Petrucci, but we just about avoid the contact. Back underneath, I'm trying to get the switch back on him, but we can't quite get it. And Petrucci holds on for now. But a good start from us, soft tyre working well. Front and rear, this could be a good strategy for us around here. It might just get us out of trouble. But so far, it's looking like P9. This corner I don't really like, it's a tricky one. We have a Mickey Mouse corner this. We are going to go have a little look on the inside of Petrucci, but no way through. And actually, the Vinti gets by. That's Rabat. We're going to try and go back down the inside, though, of Tito here into the chicane. There we go. But Rabat down the inside. Oh, my God, that was a bit of a heavy clunk. Good thing we turned damage off. Good acceleration on the exit, though, when we get straight back past Tito Rabat there. And we're once again out of the ninth place. Okay, looks like we're going to be okay to hold onto this now, so... Head down. Let's see if we can still hang on to the leaders. The double soft tyre could help us out here. Obviously, we'll struggle within the race, but for now, it could be a benefit, and we need to try and use that. Having a look at Rossi here. I fancy a move on the doctor. Let's see if we can have a little look through this section. Maybe get a switch back on him. And inside. Uh, it doesn't quite work. Got to keep pushing, got to keep fighting for these overtakes. I think we've got Alex Marquez behind us now. As always, he always qualifies quite poorly, but he always goes through the field and makes his way forward in the race. So he's going to be someone we've got to try and keep behind somehow. As we try to hang on to this lead group, rear tyres overheating a little bit. But having said that, we've had a good exit here. We may have a chance of getting past Valentino Rossi here with the slipstream. We're going to pull to the inside. And there we go, we make a move. We get past the doctor and we're up to 8th place. Let's see if we can secure the overtake. Getting a nice tidy run out the front of the corner if possible. There we go, job done. Vinales set the pace 48-0. We're 7 tenths off that. I think we've got this position secure now. Yes, we have. Job done. Love that. 
Maybe I could have gone for a medium rear. Petrucci in front sets a new fastest lap. We're only four tenths off that, so we are on pace, which is good. We're pulling away from the box behind. You can see in the minimap we're opening up a gap. So at the minute we're holding on with this soft tarp. But it's going to start going away soon as uh, we're constantly overheating it on the rear. Ooh, big stoppy there, but we managed to control it. Rear tyre, I'm, I'm not liking it. I think we're going to be in big trouble later on in the race. I may have made a mistake long term here. Another good lap from us though, good pace. As we set a new fastest lap, so you know we're running well. But I am concerned that we are going to struggle at the end. Also, the top seven are running great pace because I just set a new fastest lap and I've barely gained on Petrucci this lap, so they're running at a very strong pace. I'm on the limit here. This could be about just holding on to eighth place rather than pushing on. I think Marquez has passed Rossi and he's now starting to close up again, so he could be on the, on the back of us very soon, so we're going to have to get ready for that. I just want to see if I can get past one of these guys or maybe the three bikes in front. It seems like they're just struggling to hold on to top four pace, so... Maybe a top five finish, Quattarado up the front of this train. All right, we're closing up here. I'm trying to open up the line to get a strong exit. Quite a bit of curb, but that's okay. Palmo two, can we close in on a Ducati on the straight? We're struggling to close in. We're making good progress. As we're now closer than ever to these guys, but still no overtake. And Marcus is closing in behind, but it looks like another good lap from us, this lap. On the money once again. I've still got the excess fuel, so I'm going to try and burn some of that up. But a new fastest lap, 47.5. Race pace is great around it. For now, let's see how long it can stay that way. I can hear the Repsol Honda of Alex Marquez behind me. Looking for the move. I'm trying to close in on Petrox here, but I think we may have to start defending. Good exit. Uh, the second part of the exit let us down, though. Originally, we got the power down quite well. I think I'm a bit too far back to pass Petrucci here. As we know with the straight on speed of that bike. Running it very, very deep on the brakes. We actually do a good job there of closing up the gap. On to Petrucci and Rins. Getting the power down over the hill to start another lap. That one wasn't as fast. Alex Marquez setting the pace now. Like I said, he's the man to look out for. He always has good late race pace. He fights his way for the field. Got a good line of Petrucci here, actually. I may have the benefit of a switch back. Making our way up the hill. Get a bit sideways. Can we have a little look? Not the best exit. It's put me a bit far back going into this section. I was a shame. I thought I may have had a chance there on Petrucci, but couldn't quite make it count. And this corner here, I used to be quite good in the brakes on last year's game, but this year they've improved a lot. The AI through there, so we can't make a move just yet, but. We're knocking on the door. Look at my rear tire. Oh my goodness me. It's red on the left side of the surface. Strutting through that long left hander. And Mark is there having a look. But we just chop off his front. To avoid him going down the inside. But we've lost a chunk of time to Petrucci. Now I'm struggling to get a rear traction. On the inside left face of the tire. We've actually dropped off quite a bit. You can see my rear now is really really struggling to hold on we've still got five more laps to go here so this could get quite long we're in big trouble oh, a bit of a mistake there running a bit hot i've moved my traction control up to setting four so we've got full electronic traction now to help us out a little bit more with the rear we may lose a bit on corner exit but if it gives me a bit less wheel spin to manage the tire temperatures a bit better then that's what we'll do oh that's another mistake there struggling now Marquez is going to go through any second. I can feel it. Marquez dropped off on that lap. Even with the mistakes, he kind of had a little bit of a look, but in the end, he wasn't able to keep up. So we've held on for now. That little adjustment to the traction may have just given us a couple more laps with the rear tire, but we're not out of the woods yet. We've pulled away again from Alex Marquez, but he's now got someone right behind him. I wonder if it's Rossi now putting on a bit of a late race charge on the Yamaha maybe Marquez went for the soft soft as well maybe he's starting to struggle with his tires like I am but maybe he's obviously used his up a lot more than I have by the way he's got pressure now I believe it's Rossi behind him we'll get confirmation of that yes it is it's Valentino Rossi so now the M1 Yamaha coming alive in the closing stages of the Grand Prix I'm really struggling now even on my front now we're halfway through the tire life we're going to be struggling quite a lot at the end three laps to go crunch low new fastest lap the front four now Picking up the pace, big time. 
Just trying to hang on here and survive. To be fair, we have closed up a little bit on that last lap to Petrucci and the Rins, who both of those two struggling now to hold on to the front five. We've now pulled away from Marquez. He's 2.9 behind. He's completely dropped off the pace. I've still got a chance here of catching Petrox if we keep it up. Because these two have now dropped off, so they're not getting a slipstream anymore. I fancy my chances, to be honest with you. If I'm being absolutely honest, I think I can hook up a lap good enough. We're going to need a very special final lap, but I think I can do one. We're back into the mid-47s on that lap. That was quite good. Feels like the tyres have come back to me a little bit in this last lap or so. Not sure how when the tyres are so worn out, but they have. So, we may have a chance here. I'm pushing now with absolutely everything that I've got. Fuel's going to be marginal as well. I don't think we're going to get Petrucci or Rins. We tried it, but just run out of tyres, to be honest with you. Run out of pace. But we actually have very good race pace. I think if I start on medium, we'd still be quite competitive either way. Fuel's tight. We're going to use a little bit of power mode too on the back straight, but not all of it. There we go. Back to mode one now. Let's just ease it through. One last push now into the final corner. Just in case anybody has any penalties that need to be dished out. But it's going to be Vinales who wins it today in Aragon. A well-deserved win for him at the final corner. We're going to pick up the eighth place. And you know what? I'll bloody take that. That is a great result and better than I expected. So no complaints on my end. Let's get confirmation though as Marquez finishes P2 behind Vinales and Dovi gets third. So there you go. It's not too bad for the championship. Obviously, Mark will claw back a few points, but it's not the worst case scenario. Quadrado P5, Crutchlow in fourth, Rins in sixth, and we finish behind Petrucci, of course, in eighth place. Miller in the end got P9 ahead of Marquez and Rossi. Then we've got Rabat, Mobidelli, Zarco, and Espargaro rounding out the top 15 here today. Alicia Espargaro misses out on the points as Paul Espargaro actually picked up the fastest lap on the KTM. Very surprising. Then we've got Lacroina, Nakagami, Bagnaya, Mir, Iannone, and Binder with Oliver at the back. In terms of the rider standings, the gap is down to 20 points now as we head into the next race at Thailand. Dovi overtakes Crutchlow for third place and Vinales with that win holds on to P5 but closes the gap to the top of the table. We then move into the team championship and we are fourth place and Petronas Yamaha only 10 points behind us. So they're closing in and uh, we're now 40 points behind Monster Energy Yamaha as well. And finally, in terms of the constructors, we are currently in second place. Ducati, 24 points behind us. So they're still there. They're still in the mix. So we've got to try and keep fighting. But we are still on for a second place finish in that championship. But guys, that's going to be it from me here today at Aragon for this episode of the Moto GP20 crew. And if you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new for weekly Moto GP content on the channel. And also check out the two videos on the screen if you have missed them. And finally, click the bell icon, guys, to be notified when new content does go live. But that's it from me. Here's the day, Aragon, and I'll see you all next time for the Thailand GP at Buriram. But until then, it's goodbye from me.